okay guys i'm going to start off by waking up i know that that's so funny but yeah i normally just like sleep till up until 7 a.m and then after that my alarm just goes off and when it does you guys see me trying to reach for my phone to turn it off and after i turn my alarm off the next thing would be to reach for my glasses fam i'm so short-sighted if you're new on here i am short-sighted okay so i need my glasses so after i wake up i get up and i put my robe on the next thing would be you know honestly to just open the windows up so that light would come in i'm a child of brightness not darkness like i love natural light so much so if I open the windows up after that i just move on to dressing my bed guys i am obsessed with bed making bed dressing it is my thing it is something that i love with passion i've said this in my get to know me video and some of you are saying you have ocd no i don't have ocd but i like it when my bed is well made okay so just going to take my time out straighten it make sure there is no or there are no wrinkles anywhere inside and put the throw pillow just right in the center and after that i just move on to like brushing my teeth this is before i pray and guys i don't know if i'm the only one but i just cannot talk to god when my mouth is dirty like i know that god doesn't care but to a large extent i just feel like i have to brush my teeth first before i start praying so one thing that i like to do before i start my morning devotional morning prayer routine is i like to light a candle this particular one is from h m and it smells so nice okay so after i light i just proceed to sit on the floor because that's the easiest thing for me to do but i like to pray with devotionals so i like to use two there are two that i'm using and loving right now and basically with devotionals you just get like scripture readings and reflections and what i normally do is i start out by reading the scripture for the day and then i go back to the bible and i read it in detail and then i just go through the reflection do a little bit of thinking and once I'm done, like, you know, thinking, I go on ahead and I pray on my own, just silently for a little bit. And once I'm done with this, guys, I feel like I'm ready for the day, you know, honestly. After that, what I do next is I change on to my workout clothes. I grab a bottle of water and I go to the place where I normally work out. These days I've been working out outdoors and it's because the weather is not as hot as, you know, it would be like on a normal day. The weather is a lot cooler now because we're in the rainy season. I start with stretching, but I've been boxing a lot. I'm not a pro or anything. I just started, but it helps my core. Is It's one of those things that it just helps now with just strengthening some of the areas that I really want to strengthen. And a little bit of boxing and I work on my quads and my core as well. These are the two main areas where like i need a lot of help so do a bit of that and then i just move on to stretching to end you guys are going to see me stretching in a little bit but yeah this is me stretching stretching is like the best thing guys don't ever not stretch after you've worked out it will help your muscles a lot i jump into the shower you guys can see i've been wearing my hair out of late so i just make sure to get my hair damp and put some conditioner on it and just rinse it off it makes for just like better styling so i'm going to pamper myself this morning so i'm going to be using a scrub and a mask the two are from a brand called timmy so i'm going to start out with the scrub first guys i hardly ever use scrubs to exfoliate and it's because they always leave my skin like feeling really dry but this i really really love it's a hydrating scrub so this actually exfoliates hydrates and moisturizes at the same time so it's like a three-in-one type of product i just start out by spreading it all over my face and i work it in just gently as i go okay this when you're done you see that your skin feels really soft it gets rid of all the like dead skin cells but then it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry like this is like every time that i've used a scrub in the past there's this tight dry feeling you get after i use a scrub you don't get that at all with this one and it smells really really good as well i just take my time with this just make sure to work the scrub in so once i've worked it into my skin like you guys saw i take my time i just rinse it off and i you know pat my skin dry with a towel after that i'm going to move on to the mask okay so this is a detox mask 
and like the name says this is a detox mask so it just gets into your pores and it gets rid of all the junk and all the like oil you have in your pores but then again just like the scrub this does not dry your skin out okay it has this very tingling cooling sensation when you first apply it but then i love it because a lot of masks that just go into your pores the ones that i've used anyways like they tend to feel like that so i just take my time spread it in and this just makes me feel like i'm in a spa and just like the scrub it smells really nice as well so <laughs> oh god this look at me so once i've worked it in i just leave it to dry for about 15 minutes it should be dry completely and i go to the sink and then i rinse it off i just take my time and it's i wouldn't say that it's the easiest thing to get off but then it just you take your time work it just make sure that the mask dissolves as you go and then once you're done man your skin will feel really soft like really really soft okay Moving on to a toner now, I'm going to share this toner in an upcoming updated skincare routine video. I've been talking about it for a while now, but fam, this toner is so good and I love it. Applying some moisturizer as well just to hydrate. Guys, ignore the little thing that I have going on in the world. When the rainy season, every time it starts raining, my walls get damp and then it affects the paint. So annoying. Normally, what I'll do after this is to just go sit on my filming table. You guys are familiar with this background. So first of all, I take my glasses off and I put my contact lenses off. I don't wear contact lenses every day, but I wear them on the days where I know like I'm going to be doing stuff like later on. Does that make sense? So my contact lenses are medicated, just the same power as my glasses and they are clear. They don't have any color to them. So I put them on. And then I go on to style my hair. So what I do is I start out by patting it just where I like my parts to be. You guys have seen me doing this in my how I style my hair video. I use my Nairobi um, styling mousse foam. What's this called again? Guys, I'm going to write the name out in the description box. But fam, this thing is the truth, man. It's the best thing for like molding your hair. My hair doesn't feel dry or hard after this. It just molds my hair to the shape that I want it. And I also work on my edges at the same time. It helps everything lay flat. Once I'm done with that, I move on to breakfast, okay? I'm going to be having Niger Foodies, um vegetable omelette. I think that this is called but it's just omelette or just fried egg loaded with vegetables and i love this so much i love to use green green pepper tomatoes and onions in mine so i just cut everything up nicely okay set it out and then i break three eggs when i was putting cracking the eggs for this video i remember that just on twitter a while back about the guy that beat his girlfriend up for cracking four eggs i'd be something like that you know and i remember arguing with someone i'm like what if she was on a keto diet or on a diet like this one you know three eggs is not that bad but guys that's what i'm going to be eating three eggs and this is very high like in protein there are, there's no carb there are no carbs no carbs there is no carbs whatever so this is just like a very nice like breakfast that is just very high in protein i think please don't quote me but this is very healthy trust me so i add some cameroon pepper i love cameroon pepper so much i put in everything and then i put some salt and i'm going to go on ahead and beat the egg and you guys noticed that i also added some onions to the egg as well because i love the flavor that it gives the egg so gonna light the cooker and i'm going to put some oil i like to eat and cook yeah with not eat i like to cook with coconut oil that is all i use and i pour the egg in so what i'll do with this is i normally i actually just let the egg be cover it up because the heat is so low but because i was so hungry like what i'll do is i just push the egg around so that the sorry so that the egg that isn't cooked that so it moves to the edge you know does that make sense like i'm not a food blogger but i'm sure that i'm making a little bit of sense right now so i just want to make sure that the egg is as cooked as possible does that even make sense but whatever i add my tomatoes pepper greens and onions in and i always add the greens last 
okay i love like the way that this thing tastes guys this is actually one of my favorite vegetables it's called green i don't know the we call it green here in nigeria so i flip the egg and just cover it so that it looks like a little cute shawarma thing cover it up and let it sit for about five minutes and then i'm going to take it out of the pot and this is what it looks like it doesn't look fancy or anything but trust me this tastes amazing okay amazing so i normally like to sit on the floor to eat guys i like sitting on the floor i have chairs everywhere in this house but i love to sit on the floor so i normally just sit and eat and read like whatever book that i'm reading in the morning with a glass of water i eat 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 i always clear my plate with this like if you've not tried this before you should go and try niger foodies lose it nigerian um cookbook try it it's really good and once i'm done with breakfast i just always take a cup of tea i used to hate green tea guys but right now i actually don't hate it as much anymore so i just always make sure to get the one with jasmine so is it jasmine or jasmine we'll say jasmine here but yes i like green tea with jasmine and i just put one tea bag let it sit the trick is to not let your your tea bag like sit in the water for a very long time if not like the tea will get bitter so after that i just go and sit down on my editing table here open up final cut and then i start editing fam this is my life this is my morning routine so i hope you guys enjoy this i'll see you in my next one guys bye